My name is Mattia Mitalia. I've always provided uh, my international exposure to my career. I always wanted to be able to speak to multiple cultures and to be able to uh, deal with multiple business models. So I studied in Italy, I moved to Argentina, I work in Germany, and I decided to embark on my journey, my academical journey in, in Hong Kong, where I attended my MBA degree. After four years in Hong Kong, I decided to move back to Europe, and right now I'm working in, Hong in Berlin uh, at HelloFresh. I chose UHK because I wanted to be more close to the, to the Chinese environment. I wanted to be closer to the real understanding of the Chinese uh, economy. And I didn't want to be in, in China because I also need to move to like a more Western uh, city with my family. So I wanted to be like in the middle between like this technological wave coming from China and at the same time to be able to live in a Western city. Before my MBA, I worked for a corporate uh, back in Italy, in IT. And after four years in this organization, I launched my own business. I launched my own startups. My startup, uh, it's a tech organization. It's a price comparison between grocery store. We ended up pitching the idea everywhere in the world. We ended up uh, launching the business in Malaysia, where the organization is still up and running. And I exited two years ago. Uh, it was a life-changing experience. I decided to move to Hong Kong because I want to like be out of my comfort zone. And also at the same time, I wanted to be closer to any financial help and also closer to a multi-ethnical city. A uh, lot of Indians, a lot of Chinese, a lot of like expats. So that was a perfect um, combination for myself when I was 27. I also wanted to be more closer to, the, to a tech hub and Hong Kong, Shenzhen, the Bay Area is the perfect place to be in early stage of your career and also had the opportunity to have great professors and great uh, mentors that basically they explained to me how to be effective and how to improve myself in a difficult situation. I think that uh, right now the, the entire world is pretty complex. So we need to be able to focus on one specific industry or one specific uh, focus. And I do feel that Asia is catching up with in terms of universities and academical degrees with the Western, especially with the US. So we need also to look at what are our interests. If we are interested in FinTech, if we're interested in IT, in tech, I think that Asia is the right place to be. I think that the US was the right place to be 10 years ago, 15 years ago. But right now we need to look at the current technologies. We need to look at the current investors because the investors are the ones that are making like changing the entire flow, the entire trend. So we need to be able to look at what drive and what drive the business. And I do feel that right now the Asia is still the best place to be if we want to develop our career in tech. CUSK was a perfect combination because it's like it, it's a Chinese university in Hong Kong with a lot of experts. So I had the opportunity to be into like the networking events organized by the by this UHK. And at the same time was the perfect combination because it was my stepping was the stepping stone to be part of the Hong Kong environment. So that was a life changing experience because I had the opportunity to talk to many tech guys with engineers, I had the opportunity to talk with business people, and I had the opportunity to talk with many investors. So from a product perspective, since I'm a product manager, I'm able to combine myself into multiple, in multiple uh, environments, and that was like really important to me. Networking, excellence in terms of professors, and the great ecosystem of startups. Because I do feel that right now the, the universities or any business schools need to be tight with the startup environment because any candidate, they want to join CHK, they want to be part of something bigger. They want to be part of Hong Kong. And I do feel that right now Hong Kong is the right place to be if you want to launch a business or if you want to be part of any tech organization. Coming from a European background, it's really important because I had the opportunity to meet with a lot of investors and I have the opportunity to talk with many engineers. So in terms of like startup scene and entrepreneurship, this allowed me to be part of something bigger. So basically we can kick something out 
and this is was really important to me because if you think about we are here because we want to build a product and we want to launch a business so we need to have multiple stakeholders we need to have engineering we need to have investors and we need to have some a product manager that is able to shape the the technology and is able to deliver the value to the end user right now i'm a senior product owner at hellofresh i'm responsible for inbound uh, HelloFresh is a food organization. We deliver everywhere in the world except China. Uh, we are an organization that we aim to reduce the food waste. And I'm responsible for getting the ingredients into the warehouse. And basically, I'm responsible for all the technology into the warehouse across the world. Uh, for myself, it's really important. This is something that I learned from CUHK as well. So for every step in my career, I need to be passionate what I'm working on and I need to be part of something bigger. I'm a tech person, so I want also to be able to apply my expertise and my passion to something bigger. I, I really need to see a value in, 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 in what I'm working on. So HelloFresh, it's the perfect example because we are dealing with food that is going to be one of the main disruptors in, the, in, in in the next 10 years and reducing waste it's something that i'm really passionate about sustainability is another key topic for myself so being part of velofresh right now i can really see the value and i can also i can also see my impact this is really important as a product person and it's really important to deliver something tangible to the end user i will say two things the first one I really understood the Chinese mentality in terms of doing business. That was really important to me because basically this explained also the, the hyper growth that China or Asia in particular, they went through the last two decades. And on the other side, uh, CUHA was really important to me because I really understood how to make business with investors and how to prepare an elevator pitch, how to prepare like an a, a pitch deck. It was really important. And also I was mentored by great professors. And look, looking at myself, Four years ago, being back at this at CUHK, I can really see the growth, but I can also see how I interact with people. And right now, I really feel that mentorship was one of the great services provided by CUHK. I was lucky enough to be part of like a multicultural class, to a multicultural cohort at CUHK. We had a lot of Indians, we had a lot of Chinese, we had a lot of people from Hong Kong. And also we had the opportunity to have like Europeans and people from the US. It was a great combination because when, when we had to brainstorm, when you had to put like different projects at the table, we were able to come up with great ideas, not only in terms of ideation, but also in terms of execution. We use different framework, we use different way of, of way of working. And that was a life changing experience because that was the first time for myself to be able to work with like a multicultural uh, group. for two reasons, to be honest with you. The first one, uh, I want to be part of something that is growing. I think that most of the American universities, they are still like stagnant. They are still stable in terms of growth. Uh, they are not like using all of their potential. But from the other side, I do feel that Hong Kong is a perfect combination because it's a Western city, a city in a, in, a, in a Chinese environment. So this is a perfect combination. That's why I wanted to be part of this journey because there are a lot of experts and at the same time, a lot of like Chinese influence and working in tech. I do feel that Hong Kong is the perfect, is the perfect place to be, especially because we are receiving a lot of like techno technological wave from China and also the right place to make, to start a new business. So in terms of investments, that's the right place to be. So that's why I also choose Hong Kong because I didn't choose Hong Kong specifically for this, for CUHK. CUHK was just a stepping stone for myself. I want you to be in a place for like five to 10 years and Hong Kong is the perfect combination for that.